Hi, we're going to start talking about kinematics. And kinematics is the study of motion. And we're going to start off talking about the difference between distance and displacement. And we want to start off with this. Have you ever noticed that really simple words are very hard to define? Like distance. Everybody knows what it is. But if you want to try to de define it, it's rather difficult. Webster may have something like Distance is a length between two positions. Well, length is another word for a measurement of distance. I don't know how well that works. But what we can do is come up with our own definition. So I basically want to say that distance is simply how far an object travels. Simply how far the object traveled, so 20 feet, that would be a distance. There's another term that's very similar to distance called displacement, but it's a little bit different. Displacement is how far you are and in which direction from where you started. So how far and in, in, in what direction? an object is from where it started. Okay. So, distance, how far you travel. So if I start on this block, and each block is about one foot, and I walk over five blocks. One, two, three, four, five. I have traveled a distance of five blocks. But I've also had a displacement. I am five blocks in whatever this direction is from where I started. So if I was to start off on this block and walk all the way around my desk, be right back. and end up back at the exact same block, my distance would be however many of those blocks I traveled. I didn't count. My displacement is actually zero. I'm not displaced. I'm where I, where I started from. So distance is simply how far you travel. Displacement is how far and in what direction. So if I traveled three blocks this way, one, two, three, and then one block back. I travel a total of four blocks, but my displacement is only two blocks from where I started from, because I went three this way and one back. That leaves only two blocks that I'm actually off from where I started from, in whatever direction this is. So displacement has a direction involved as well as a measurement, but it's always from where you start to where you end. So, if I was to start off here and go all the way around to here, then my displacement is just that distance, even though the distance I traveled would have been all the way around my desk to this point. All right? So, let's take a look at these. Distance, how far you traveled, displacement, how far you traveled in which direction brings up this. In physics, we like to break up numbers into two categories, a vector and a scalar. A vector has a magnitude and direction. Don't be scared about the word magnitude. It just means an amount, like five feet is a magnitude. It just tells you how much it is. Distance is just a magnitude while displacement is a magnitude and a direction. So distance is a scalar, while displacement is a vector. So let's take a look at this a little bit closer on some paper to talk about the difference between these two terms. Distance is how far you travel, which is a scalar. Displacement is how far and in what direction an object is from where it started, and it's a vector because it has a direction and a magnitude. So let's see what this looks like. So 
Here's a grid pattern. So let's say I start on this spot right here. And we travel five blocks towards the top of the page. One, two, three, four, five. My distance traveled is five blocks. My displacement is also five blocks in whatever direction this is. A lot of times we say the top of the page is north. So five blocks north. So my distance is five blocks and my displacement is five blocks, let's call it north. Let's call this part north. All right. So what if now from that spot I come back three blocks. Now my distance traveled is five plus another three. So five, six, seven, eight, eight blocks. But my displacement is just two blocks north from where I started from. Distance is always how far you've gone. Displacement is always from where you start to where you end. So let's say I start on this block here. And let's say I go one, two, three, four, five blocks up. One, two, three, four, five blocks over. And then one, two, three, four, five blocks down. So I end here. Here's where I started. So my distance traveled would be 15 blocks. But my displacement, my displacement is only from where I started to where I ended. So that's north, south, east, so this would be west. So I am actually five blocks west of my starting position. So again, displacement, how far you traveled, distance, how far you are from where you started from. So if I was to start on this block, go two blocks up and two blocks over, my distance is four blocks. But my displacement would be from where I started to where I ended. So my displacement would be the hypotenuse of that triangle in somewhere between northwest. Okay, so that is the difference between distance and displacement. Distance, how far you traveled. Displacement, how far you are and in what direction you are from where you started. Thank you.